He's the 39-year-old wannabe rapper who police say plowed the SUV into the Christmas parade, oh my God! Oh my God! leaving a trail of death and chaos. Look behind him in his music video, an SUV that looks like the vehicle seen in the rampage that left five dead and 48 injured. Documents obtained by Inside Edition show Daryl Brooks has a history of allegedly using his SUV as a deadly weapon. Just two days before Sunday's horror, he was released from jail on $1,000 bail, following an arrest for allegedly deliberately running over the mother of his child at a gas station. This little girl in pink was dancing in the street when the SUV flashed by, narrowly missing her. Moments later, it plowed into a high school cheer team. Oh my God! Oh my God, there's dead oh people! God. There's dead people everywhere, oh you guys! Meanwhile, the band played on, unaware of the carnage unfolding a block ahead of them. Then police cars came flashing by. We only have about 10 to 15 people down in the street. We also found out multiple carnival cases. This video from a window above the parade route shows the SUV ramming into another high school band playing Christmas music. A spectator shot these shocking images, showing the SUV swerving wildly before bulldozing into the band at 40 miles per hour. He was accelerating through there. He, he didn't try to brake. There's no attempt to brake. There's no attempt to stop. And then just all chaos erupted. Also in the killer's path, the dancing grannies, a popular troupe of local seniors. Our group was doing what they loved, performing in front of crowds in a parade putting smiles on faces of all ages, says a statement from the Dancing Grannies. The five dead were identified today. They range in age from 52 to 81. Virginia Sorensen, a 79-year-old retired nurse with six grandchildren, was one of the Dancing Granny casualties. There's like seven injured that way. There's so many down there. Parade goers who had been enjoying the small town holiday tradition found themselves oh in a nightmare. Oh my God! Victims lay injured and dying in the street. There were cries of desperation and people frantically searched for loved ones. Aiden! Aiden! Lisa! Chelsea! We're my mama! Yeah. We're your kids! As the driver fled, narrowly missing more victims, a cop fired three times. Oh my God! Oh! Shonda Harn and her 12-year-old daughter Ashley were walking in the parade when the SUV narrowly missed them. I turn and I grab her and I pull her out of the way as the car rips past us. I scream, get out of the way, and then I start hearing um, some uh, shots fired. She later found out her car had been struck by the fleeing SUV. Squeeze through this area right here, hit the side of my car, right here, continued on, hit the front of my car, and you can actually follow the tire tracks through the yard. The red SUV was found in a driveway nearby, the front end damaged. 39-year-old Brooks was arrested a short distance away. Come on, come on, run, run. At first, it was feared it was an act of terrorism or a response to the acquittal of Kyle Rittenhouse 50 miles away in Kenosha. But police say Brooks was fleeing after getting involved in a domestic dispute incident reportedly involving a knife. A day that was to begin the season of family and joy turned into a day of horror. Oh my God! 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 Oh my